Hi, Algebra 3. Welcome to your last set of notes for transformation and parent functions. All right, what you need in front of you is your note packet, and you need to find the very last one that says combinations of parent functions. It'll look like this, and the very first problem looks like this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to um, start like we always started. I'm going to have you graph that parent function. And then we're going to try to attempt to graph this on our own. And then we're going to use Desmos as a check of our understanding. So we know that this is going to be quadratic. And we know this because of that squared. Let me get my annotation tools here. We know that because of right here. That squared tells us it's going to be a parabola and it belongs in the quadratic family which means i have a vertex at zero zero and then my critical point is up one to the right one to and then up one to the left one when you have a combination and you see everything at once you know that these three points are going to move somehow and so one of the things that i like to do is before i even begin um, I like to, I'm going to do red, I think, today. I like to give myself some hints. And I only look at one piece at a time. Because if you look at that whole function and you get confused, don't. Just look at one piece at a time. We know that a number being added or subtracted on the outside of the parent function moves it up or down. This is minus 4. So that means we're going to move that vertex down 4. That's what that means. Okay. Now. If I am adding or subtracting a number on the inside of the grouping symbol of a parent function, that means I move it left or right. Now, in your investigation and in our discussion of the notes, we figured out that a plus three on the inside really means we are moving to the left. So now I stop and I graph because now I know that my new vertex is down four to the left three. So this is my new vertex. Now, if there was no number out front multiplying, then I could just go up one to the right one, boom, and up one to the left one, and there would be my new points. But that's not the case. I now have this two out front. And that two, remember, is going to be a shrink, or it squeezes that graph in the vertical direction. And so I now have to look at this, and I have to say, OK, my new critical points from the vertex are going to be up two to the right one, and then up to, to the left one. Okay, and that is my new, that's my new graph. Okay, I'm gonna draw in my new parent function here, and it'll look something like this. Okay, make sure your notes look like this. And we're going to move on to that next page. Stop the video and make sure. And that's what that final answer should look like. Um, I went ahead and did that and then scanned in my answer. But take a look. All three points moved. All right. Now it's time to check with Desmos. So. Let's go to Desmos. Everybody head to Desmos. Let's see if I can find Desmos. There it is. OK, here's our parent function. And then I just typed it in earlier, and I got that there. So there is our next one. And we can see how it's moved. OK, we came down four to the left three. Look at that next critical point is there and there. OK, looks like we got it right. Excellent. All right, let's go on to the second example. And what I'd like you to try first is to look at that second example and see if you can't draw the parent function. So go down to example two um, and do the negative one third absolute value of x minus two plus one and see what you can find. Okay, 
So that's what your parent function should look like. You know it's absolute value, so it's the B. Again, I have my I have my spotlight here, and there is the vertex, and I go up one to the right one and up one to the left one for those critical points. So now let's put in um, how this will work, okay? So again, a number on the outside means I move the vertex up or down, or the starting point up or down. And a plus one means that vertex is gonna go up one. We know that if we're adding or subtracting a number on the inside, it's gonna move it left or right. And we found out that a negative means it's going to the right. So let's graph that first. So I know I'm going up one to the right two and I put in that point right there. That's my starting point. So now I have to worry about the two critical points from that vertex. And this number outside is gonna tell me how to build that. Now, I like to include the negative in there um, just because it kind of helps me, but a negative means it's been reflected. So we know that in the parent function, it's pointing up, but when the negative is on the outside, it's been reflected down. So when I build this, my next critical point is going to be down one, one, two, three, I'm going to move three to the right. And then my next critical point is going to be down one and one, two, three to the left. And that's what it's gonna look like. Okay, I'm gonna get my larger marker here. I'm gonna draw, connect the dots. Ooh, not so good. And there is my reflected, stretched and moved absolute value. Okay, make sure your notes look like this. Um, let me show you my final copy. Let's see. And there is, um, that's what your answer should look like. Sorry, I forgot to uh, dash that. Okay, let's go back to Desmos and do a check, okay? Oops, let's go back to Desmos and we'll do a check and, um, see how we did. Okay, here we go. I'll type in the absolute value, so y equals absolute value of x, and there it looks like, and there's our new one. Let's bring that down. Look at that. Looks like we got that one right too. Here's our new vertex. We went up one to the right two, and then we came down one and over three, and there's that next critical point. And then we came down one over three, there's that next critical point. Okay, so what's next? You now have three that I would like for you to try on your own. And so there are three examples on the back of your packet, and I'd like for you to look at those functions and try to graph them. So what I'm gonna have you, when you try those, when you come back to class, we'll talk about them. Um, try them on your own first, please, and then use Desmos to check. It's important to try it first. You know you can always plug in Desmos and get the answer. This is about you trying to figure it out. Okay, thanks Algebra 3, and we'll see you in class.